Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the multiplication of integers in a polynomial. Now, when it comes to multiplying integers in a polynomial, you're just following the standard rules of multiplication and going from there because the integers in a polynomial really don't affect too much as long as you apply the rules. So let's give a, an example and you'll see how this works. If you have 3x cubed times a polynomial, let's just say 5x squared minus 10x plus 4, you're just multiplying and distributing and multiplying the integers along the way. So for example, when you're multiplying 3x cubed times 5x squared, you're multiplying the 3 and the 5, that's going to be 15, x cubed times x squared, that's going to be x to the fifth. Now, positive times a negative, that's going to give you negative. And so 3x cubed times 10x, 3 times 10, that's going to give you 30. And then x cubed times x is going to be x to the fourth. Now, positive times a positive is a positive. So 3x cubed times 4, multiply the 3 and the 4, it's going to give you 12, and then the x cubed is just kind of along for the ride here. So when it comes to multiplying integers in a polynomial, the rules are pretty straightforward. Just follow the multiplication rules and you'll be set. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief glimpse on how to multiply integers in a polynomial.